or excuse me, with working from home becoming more of a common option for employees post pandemic. Many cities are seeing abandoned office buildings and Sacramento is no stranger to that. Now a California lawmaker is hoping to put those buildings back into use to try to solve the housing crisis. ABC 10's Monica Coleman shares with us his plan and where Sacramento stands on not used or abandoned buildings. Hey, good morning. So last August, state officials and lawmakers announced that they will make the EDD building on Capitol Mall, the one right behind me, into affordable housing. They also identified the solar building on N Street as another place for affordable housing. Assemblymember Haney introduced AB 3068 to help with that. But what this bill will do is it will give the a buy right approval so that you get rid of all of this red tape, all of these bureaucratic hurdles. And just say, if you want to convert this office space into housing, you can do it, and we're not going to allow uh, all of these different roadblocks to be in your way. Haney says the pandemic played a major role in many state as well as private buildings staying vacant. While the housing crisis continuing in major cities, Haney's bill also applies to privately owned buildings. In Sacramento, many buildings are considered historic, and it's why the California Preservation Foundation says there needs to be protections in place. Although the bill still needs to make its way through the legislature before it becomes law, Haney says he hopes it can encourage private property owners to take advantage of the opportunity. A spokesperson with the Department of General Services says that the EDD building here on Capitol Mall won't start being renovated for affordable housing until 2025. Live in Sacramento, I'm Monica Coleman, ABC 10. All right, Monica, something to look forward to for a lot of people who are looking for a reasonable place to live in the, in the Midtown downtown. Thank you.